Hi there, seventh graders. Uh, today we're going to go over the Pythagorean theorem real world problems. Uh, this is the solution video, so please take out your homework and we'll go through step by step how to solve our homework. All right, number one, we had a suitcase that measures 24 inches long by 18 inches high. So 24 inches long, which would be here left to right and uh, 18 inches high right here. So we want to know the diagonal of the length of the suitcase to the nearest tenth. Please underline this if you haven't done so already. So how do we do this? We start with the Pythagorean theorem, substitute a and b with um, 18 and 24, square those two numbers to get 576 and 324, add those up to get 900, we will take the square root of both sides because the opposite of squaring, everybody, square rooting. And the square root of 900 is 30. So what does that mean? The diagonal on the suitcase from corner to corner is 30, uh, what's our unit here? 30 inches uh, in length. Any questions, raise your hand. We can pause the video. Uh, number four, in a computer catalog, a computer monitor is listed as 19 inches. This distance of 19 inches is the diagonal of the uh, computer screen. So the diagonal represents what in a triangle? I hope you're all saying hypotenuse. So this 19 inches represents our C. Um, if the screen measures 10 inches in height, so if I have a 10 here, and 19 represents the hypotenuse, uh, we are looking for what is the actual width to the nearest inch of this computer screen. So we're looking for this part of the screen here. So we're looking for a leg. Well, with that said, we have um, a squared plus 10 squared, which is uh, leg 1 and leg 2, equals 19 squared. Remember, 19 is the hypotenuse. Square those two numbers, we get a squared plus 100 equals 361. We subtract 100 to both sides because our goal is to isolate a. Okay, we subtract 100 to both sides and we get a squared equals 261. What do we do to isolate a at this point? I hope you're all shouting square root. All right, so the uh, square root of 261 is 16.1. And actually, um, our instructions say to the nearest inch, so our final answer is 16. So A equals 16. What does that mean? Um, this side of the uh, computer screen is 16 inches, while the other side is 10, and the hypotenuse is 19. Any questions, please raise your hand. We can pause the video. Number four, the older floppy diskettes measured five and one-fourth inches on each side. What is the diagonal length of the diskette to the nearest tenth of an inch? Well, um, I know some of you had a little trouble with this in class, but remember, we can take five and one-fourth, and we can divide um, one by 4. Okay, remember, add a decimal and a 0. Uh, 4 can go into 10 two times with um, 2 left over. And we could add another 0 and bring that down. Uh, 4 goes into 25 times. And we get 0 left over. So we can convert 1 fourth to 0.25. So 5 and 1 fourth, you're going to notice I have written it as 5. 0.25, just to make it a little easier to work with, okay? So since this is a square, the length and the width are both 5 and a quarter, and what we're trying to find out is the distance across the diagonal right here. So what do we do? Uh, 5.25 squared plus 5.25 squared equals c squared. Um, squaring both of those numbers give us 27.5625 squared. 
Uh, sorry, let's get rid of that square. That shouldn't be there. This, this shouldn't be here. We've already squared the numbers. Okay, um, is equal to c squared. So what do we do from here? We add these two numbers together to get 55.125. And how do we isolate c? I hope we are all shouting square root. And the square root of 55.125 is, using your calculators, is 7.2. Remember, instructions set to the nearest tenth. So this answer means the answer across the distance across the diagonal is 7.2 inches in length. Any questions, please raise your hand and ask. Number six, Ms. Spears tells you that the right triangle has a hypotenuse of 13 and a leg of 5. So we know two things here. We know um, the hypotenuse and we know um, a leg. So here's hypotenuse and here's a leg. She asks you to find the other leg of the triangle. What is your answer? Well, uh, 5 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared because we know a hypotenuse and a leg. Uh, square 5 and 13 to get 25 plus b squared is 169. And how do I isolate b? What's step 1? We're going to subtract 25 to both sides. So minus, oops. We're going to minus 25 and minus 25. And we get b squared is equal to 144. And how do we undo squaring? We square root, sorry about that. Uh, we square root both sides. And what's the square root of 144? 12. So what does that mean? The other leg that we're looking for is 12 units in length. Any questions, please raise your hand. Uh, two joggers are running eight miles north and five miles west. If you notice, I drew a picture um, and I highlighted it red and green. Um, I just drew a coordinate plane. Here is north up on top, and here is west to the left in green. Um, so starting from the center, I went up um, north, or, yeah, we can do it this way. I went up north, and then I went west five miles. So I have north um, eight miles and west five miles. What is the shortest? distance to the nearest tenth of a mile um, that, a tra um, that you must travel to return back to this starting point or the origin. Well, the five miles and the eight miles represent legs. So what we're looking for is the hypotenuse, the distance from here. I'll draw it out for you. From here to here, if that were a straight line, um, because I couldn't draw a straight line. So we're trying to find the shortest distance to go from here to here. Um, with that said, we take a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, 5 and 8 squared will equal the square of c. 25 plus 64 equals c squared. The sum is 89. Um, how do we isolate um, our b squared? Well, the inverse of squaring is square rooting. And the square root of 89 to the nearest tenth is 9.4 is equal to b. Any questions, please ask. Number eight, real simple, find x. Um, remember here we have um, two legs. We have leg called x and the other leg called um, 15. So a squared plus 15 squared equals the hypotenuse of 17 squared. Um, 15 squared is 225, and 17 squared is 289. We subtract 225 to both sides, and we get a squared equals 64. And how do we undo this square? We square root both sides. The square root of a squared is a. And the square root of 64 is 8. So that means the um, missing side of the right triangle is 8 units. Any questions, please ask. 
Number nine, Oscar's doghouse is shaped like a tent. The slanted sides are both five feet long at the bottom and across, um, and the bottom, sorry, is uh, six feet across. What is the height of the doghouse in feet um, at the tallest point? So we're trying to look for this. We're trying to look for um, the tallest part, which would be right down here in the center. Um, you need to remember something. This number six represents the distance from left to right. And if I'm looking at this triangle here, um, I only want this part of the bottom, which is only half. So it's three here and three here. So how do I set this up? I know a base of three. I know another base or leg of X. And I know the hypotenuse is 5. Uh, so we get 3 squared plus b squared equals 5 squared. Um, leg, leg, hypotenuse. Okay, I know one leg and the hypotenuse. So 3 squared is 9, 25, 5 squared is 25. We subtract 9 to both sides to get b squared is equal 16. And to undo or inverse of squaring is square rooting, we get b equals 4. So that means the, um, the tallest part of this dog's uh, dog house is 4 feet in height. Any questions, please ask. Finally, number 10, I decided to leave um, all the work open here for you. Um, what this problem is asking you is if these three numbers given, 36, 18, and 43, um, do in fact make um, a square or a right triangle. So what it's saying is, does 32 squared plus 18 squared, does it equal, question mark, does it equal 43 squared? So take your calculators and follow along with me. Um, punch in there 36 to the second power, and you should get 1,296. Plus, uh, let's do 18 to the second power, and you should get 324. And the question is, does it equal 43 squared? We'll take your calculator and do 43 to the second power, and you get 1,849. Well, when you take a look at those two solutions, if we add 1,296 plus 324, your solution is 1,620. Does that equal 1,849? And I hope all of you are saying no. So we put a slash through the equal sign for not equal. So the question is, um, if the diagonal of the table is 43 inches, is the table square? No is the solution. The table is not square because the legs here, the, 120, the 1296 and 324, do not equal this hypotenuse of 1849. So simply put, 1620 does not equal 1849. Any questions, please ask.